Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Tui. So in this video, I'd like to discuss another very interesting question during the interview. Describe the color red to a blind man. So for answering this question, we actually can use anything with red color to, to describe it, like our blood or some uh, red uh, flowers. And uh, I think the most important thing here is to show your empathy to the blind people at the end of your story and encourage the blind people. So I think probably the interviewer want to see if we can do that. And uh, and that of course you, you 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 can of course you, you, you don't need to agree you don't have to agree with me and uh, probably just uh, describe the red color uh, based on your own experience. So that's okay. So now I'm going to give you my answer for this question. Okay, Dr. Tsui, can you describe the red color to a blind people? Uh, yeah, of course. So I would say that it's a very interesting question. So I assume that the, the blind people is a gentleman with the last name uh, X. So I'm going to talk to him and describe the red color to him. So Dr. So Mr. X, uh, I heard that you want to know the red color. So I would say that uh, the a red color is one of the most beautiful colors in this world. And there are a lot of things with this red color, like our blood and uh, some of some of flowers. So I know that you cannot see the world, but I but I heard that although the blind people cannot see see the world, they are more capable of feeling the world and listen to the world. So I would suggest I would say that uh, don't uh, don't feel down if you cannot see the world. If if God closes one door for you, He must uh, open a, w a window, uh, another window for you. So it's up to you to find it. So, so as I mentioned, uh, don't think, uh, don't feel sorrow or or feel down if you cannot see the world. Uh, there are more beautiful things waiting for you in this world, and uh, to in order to let you discover it, to feel it, to listen to it. So, so this is my answer. Um, I hope you will satisfy it with it. So you can see that in my answer, I just describe the, I just uh, dis uh, give, I just uh, tell the, told, I just told the the interviewer that uh, that uh, how would I describe the red color to a blind man, and I assume that uh, the the blind man, uh, blind man is uh, is a gentleman and. Uh, and I just want to make sure how can I address, uh, how can I address him uh, appropriately, and uh, then I just uh, uh, use something with red color to describe it, and uh, and I spend more time actually I, actually I just uh, um, focus on how how to show my empathy to the blind people and how to encourage him, just let him know that uh, he uh, everyone has uh, his own talent. So don't feel down if you cannot see the world. There are a lot of beautiful things waiting for you to discover it. So that's it. This is my answer for this question. And I hope you will also create your own answer to, uh, uh, answer, uh, answer, to answer this question. So.